to some breaking news that is coming in. Ames Delhi server has been attacked yet again. There are FIR details uh, saying that the attack originated from China. All right, uh, I beg your pardon. This piece of information is with regards to the attack that had earlier taken place at the Ames Delhi server. Now, FIR details are stating that the attack had originated from China. Senior government officials are now saying that as of 100 servers, 40 of which are physical and 60 virtual, five physical servers were successfully infiltrated by the hackers who happened to originate from China. Data in the five servers has been successfully retrieved now. Now remember, uh, this piece of news is extremely crucial at a time when we are already seeing military skirmishes taking place in uh, Arunachal Pradesh. For more details, let's quickly go across to Anvit. Uh, Anvit, what is the latest that you can uh, provide us as far as uh, this information that's ported? We are learning from the sources who have been investigating this entire incident is that uh, uh, the attack uh, that the ransomware attack that was uh, that aims to servers underwent was uh, had originated from China and initially uh, you know, CNN News 18 had also reported that it is uh, the the China link is being probed into this entire attack uh, the cyber attack that it was uh, that it they, you know encrypted all the files which uh, took a long time to decrypt to the officials you know uh, from the from certain from uh, all the uh, intelligence agencies mm -hmm. and Delhi Police Special Cell and Cyber Cell. So the information that we are getting is of the total 100 surface or servers of which 40 are physical and 60 are virtual in nature, uh, five of the physical servers were successfully infiltrated by these hackers and the data in the five servers the officials are now saying that has been successfully retrieved. Uh, remember, Akanksha, when these servers had been hacked, uh, the entire aims, uh, you know, functioning uh, crumbled down because everything had to be done manually and all the servers were uh, now then off, shut off. Uh, so uh, all certain teams cyber cell teams they had all visited the aims the forensic teams were there all these servers and you know the equipment that were being used had been sent to forensic laboratories to find out what the ransom there was which had been used to attack these servers mm -hmm. and now uh, the police are, uh, police and the sources from the intelligence agencies they have confirmed that the source uh, that had uh, you know the origination of this attack was from china and mm -hmm. that all the five servers that had been physically infiltrated they have now been retrieved also, Anvit, important to throw light on the kind of backdrop that this is uh, this is to the latest skirmish that's taken place between India and China in Tawang. Having said that, that only goes on to say in ways that China is trying to target the country, not just militarily, but in terms of cyber attacks as well. Yeah, now definitely when the uh, when the officers are coming forward and the intelligence uh, agencies and the investigation so far done has also proved that it was uh, this uh, ransomware attack had originated from China. There is no doubt, you know, there, it is beyond doubt that to say that uh, China is certainly behind it. And uh, the, the the kind of attack it was, and in, initially we had learned that such uh, similar attacks were planned at other medical uh, organizations as well. Even though some at some points uh, they were detected and they could not uh, infiltrate into the servers of other agencies. But uh, Ames was the one which came under the attack and so, you know suffered a major uh, crisis for a few days. Uh, also, this was uh, one of the apprehensions of the agencies and security establishments that, uh, you know, th there's a lot of research data and data of VIPs in AIMS uh, like institutes, which uh, could have been compromised. But now, uh, you know, officials are coming forward and saying that uh, this entire, all the, uh, the all the servers that have been affected, the data has been retrieved. Uh, so we believe that, you know, the data that was uh, suspicious, it was suspicious that could have been stolen, that, uh, you know, uh, is probably in safe hands now. Absolutely. Anvita.